I mean, how do you feel about the New York sound right now? Um, I mean, I mean, I feel like the whole the whole globe is a New York sound. We started hip hop started in New York City, so regardless of what sound comes out of every other region, it still it still looks good for us. It shows that we can we created something that can influence the world. So when you say the New York sound, you know. Yeah, you have certain music that gives you that feeling of actually being here physically, but come on, let's be real. Hip hop started in New York, so everything is a New York sound. You understand what I'm saying? It's still a compliment to us, regardless of what you do with it. We originated it. Well, I, I just interviewed Cool Keith, and one of the things he said in his interview was that New York messed up and ran from their sound. Now, let me just kind of, kind of explain what he said. You know, he was saying how, you know, 808s originally, you know, the whole 808 sound originally started in New York. And then, you know, it got adopted in other places like Miami. And then people, you know, and now New York doesn't want to use 808s anymore, you know. Or like the, the hard refined samples and stuff like that. New York started that. Now, now they don't want to use that anymore. I don't think that's what it is. It's a couple of, it's a couple of different things. One of the problems here is that I think the people that's in positions of power and when I say positions of power, I mean in a position to present the music to mass amounts of people at one time. They try to pick and choose who they want to shine instead of letting those shine who's supposed to shine. So when they do that, it's really not connecting with the audience because the people don't really want to hear these certain individuals. You understand what I'm saying? With this being the mecca, I don't give a fuck how you slice it. You're going to want to hear somebody that's lyrically inclined. You're going to want to hear somebody with some substance. You understand what I'm saying? So when they're trying to force feed certain artists, I think that's what keeps us stagnated. One, things that, one of the things that other regions do, I don't think they do that. From my observation, it seems like they give everybody a fair shot. So I think some of the people in positions of power kind of cause us to be stagnated in New York because they try to pick and choose and do favors all day instead of just presenting the people with what the people want to hear. You know what I mean? So... I think that's one of the things. It's a couple different reasons, man. I could go on and on with that shit. Why, you know, we not really... With, but at the end of the day, we started hip-hop, man, and people could go into this and write, oh, y'all always saying that, but it's a fact. So regardless of what region is doing good, it's still a compliment to New York City because we orig we the originators. You know what I'm saying? So I, th I just think that's one of the reasons, though. I think, you know... But what I, what I just said, I think that's one of the reasons why, you know, New York been stagnant, kind of stagnated as far as hip hop is concerned.